Hello everybody. Today we're going to tie a bowline. So I've got my working end here and there's my standing end. So we're going to start by just twisting an overhand loop into our rope. An overhand loop means our working end goes over the standing end. We're going to run our working end up through the back of the loop, go around behind our standing end, go back down our loop. And just pull that tight. So here's a rhyme I learned to help you remember how to tie it. So we've got a rabbit hole here. I'll call that a rabbit hole. And we'll call this end a rabbit. So rabbit's gonna come up the hole, run around behind our tree, go back down the hole. That knot should help, that rhyme should help you remember the knot. If you're still having trouble, try tying it with two different ropes of contrasting color. So our red rope's gonna be our standing end. We're gonna put our rabbit hole or overhand loop in this rope. Now our yellow rope is gonna be our working end. We're gonna call him a rabbit. He goes up the hole, goes around behind the tree, and goes back down the hole. So you pinch the yellow rope on the yellow rope and pull tight. You can see that a little better there. Okay, so here we've got a classic bowline. You can tell it's a classic bowline if the tail comes out in the middle of your loop. Sometimes that gets in your way, so you might want to tie a cowboy bowline. So a cowboy bowline has a tail coming out the side. So the difference is when you run the rabbit around the tree. A classic bowline, you go around counterclockwise, so tail ends up in the middle. A cowboy bowline, you go around clockwise, and the tail will end up outside. So the one drawback to the cowboy bowline is it's not as strong. It's like this tail will slip in and out of the knot under, under less strain than the classic bowline. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.